Roses are perhaps one of the most common ornamentals that we see here in Arkansas. Many homeowners grow these for hobby. Uh, however, they, some of the varieties are particularly susceptible to a fungus disease called black spot. And black spot can be a very devastating disease to some of our uh, rose cultivars. Anytime you mention the words black spot to a rose grower, this usually brings on a lot of frowns and headaches to many rose growers across the state. As you can see, the spots are very characteristic for this particular disease. Oftentimes they'll be very dark purple to black and the edges of the spots tend to be a little feathery. They're not nice and round and uh, discreet, but they tend to feather out. And as you can see, when we have a lot of spots that grow together, oftentimes the individual leaflets will become yellow and then they'll drop. They'll fall off the plant. And this is one of the, the biggest things about this particular disease. It can cause severe defoliation. So this is a good way to recognize black spot. As you can see here from this particular leaf, the spots sometimes will not, not have the yellow area around them. They'll be nice and dark. But again, look for those feathery edges around the spots. Very characteristic. So it's really important to control this particular disease as best as possible, especially in our Arkansas climate, because we tend to see this problem more common during the hot temperatures of the year, in the summer temperatures. And one of the things that makes this disease bad is the fact that we get uh, a, quite a bit of rain uh, leading to wet leaves. And this is very important for disease control, is to try to keep those leaves as dry as possible. So one of the best ways we can do that is actually water those plants from below. Or if we water them from above, it's best to do it early in the morning. This particular fungus also has the ability to grow on dead plant tissue. So just doing a good cleanup prior to springtime can be very beneficial to the homeowner as far as controlling black spot. But again, keeping those leaves dry, you want to keep these plants full sun. The more sun, the better. Anything to encourage leaf dryness is very helpful. Uh, also, uh, one of the better methods of controlling this particular disease is selecting resistant varieties. You can actually select varieties that don't get the disease as bad under our environmental conditions here. The Cooperative Extension Service also offers more detailed information about this particular disease on roses. We have a, a very uh, nice fact sheet that's located on our Extension website and I would encourage homeowners to take a look at this because it will give more detailed information about this particular disease that we see very commonly on roses and it will also outline some of the, the more popular control practices and even talks about some of the uh, fungicides that can be used to control this particular disease. To learn more, contact your county Extension agent and follow the links in this section.